Hello, and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're going to be taking a look at how to add a logo to your vehicles today, or really any mod in the game. Uh, vehicles just seem to be the most common use, but you could use it to add a logo to the side of a vehicle, to a road sign, to a combine, anything that you want. We're going to do it to a couple of trucks here, and we're also going to be making sure that you're able to apply a custom dirt map to that logo so that it gets dirty with the rest of the vehicle. So let's jump into it. Step one, we're going to find a mod. This technique is going to work with vehicles, buildings, or really anything that you want to put a logo on. But we're going to go ahead and grab a uh, well-known truck mod here off of the mod hub, the NMC Reaper pack here. And uh, we're going to put a logo on this thing. Once you have your mod downloaded and in the mod folder, as I do here, we're going to go ahead and right click on this NMC Reaper pack. And we're going to do an extract all. This is going to create a folder based on that mod. And we're going to go ahead and just get rid of that zip file as we're going to need to recreate it when we're done making the changes to this mod. And then if you just drill into this uh, mod, before we start editing the mod, we need to include the logo we want to use in the mod folder. I've got a copy of my logo here on the desktop that I'm going to copy and paste into my mod directory. In this case, we have a textures folder already. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop it in there. And you can see here, my Kedrick Farms logo is now uh, in the same directory with a bunch of other textures that exist for this mod. If your mod doesn't have a textures folder, you can just drop it right in the root next to these other files. It'll work just fine. Next, we're going to open our mod in Giants Editor. You're going to find the i3d file for the mod that you want to edit. Some mods may have multiple different items in the mod. In this case, the NMC Reaper pack has the truck itself as well as the backbed module. Since we want to add our logo to the door, we're going to go ahead and open this NMC Reaper i3d file in the Giants Editor. Once the Giants Editor comes up, you're going to want to just navigate so you can see the side of the vehicle where you want to add the logo. In our case, we're going to start with the left door. So I'm going to hold the right mouse button down and then use the WASD keys to navigate around in the scene and get the camera positioned in a way where I can clearly see the door where we want to add the logo to. Once our camera is in place, you can come up to the menu here and click the Create menu and come down here to Primitives and select Plane. It's going to create a new item in the scene graph here called plane, and you're going to see that this uh, square has popped up down here below the vehicle. If you highlight the plane in the scene graph, you should see a bunch of information pop up in these windows on the right. You may not see each of the windows that I have displayed on my right hand side by default. If you're missing any of these, you can go to the window drop down in your menu and then click on the appropriate one. We're going to be starting with the material editing window here. Since I already have it, we can just expand that material section and we're going to look for two properties in here. To start with, we're going to select the albedo map and click this triple dot that's right next to it. And it's going to pop up with a window that allows us to pick the texture that we want to apply to the plane that we've highlighted. I'm going to click this triple dot as well. So in my case, our mod is located here on my K drive under FS19 mods, tutorial mods, and this is that FS19 NMC Reaper pack that we just extracted earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drill into that, go into the textures folder, and here you're gonna find the uh, logo that we added to this directory earlier. If I double click on this logo, it's going to come up with this pop-up that says, there's no optimized version of the selected texture available, convert now. This is because I'm currently using a PNG file that has a transparent background, uh, but FarmSim would prefer to have a .dds file. I could have created one of those before using my art programs. However, most people don't have access to those tools, and so uh, the Giants editor is going to do that conversion for me, which is really handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, and you can see here, I now have a copy of my logo. It does have a transparent background, which is, um, actually something that I strongly recommend for uh, anybody that wants to do a logo. You don't have to have a transparent background, but then that background is also going to show up on your side door. And so once we have this logo here, we're going to go ahead and just close this window. 
And you'll notice that the plane below our vehicle here is now a copy of our logo. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move this logo up into place and put it on this side door. And so I'm just going to drag this up by grabbing that arrow. And then we're going to grab this red arrow and I'm going to bring it out here where I can kind of see it. And what I need to do is I need to get this rotated uh, because right now it's laying flat. And so if you look closely here and I can move around, maybe get a little bit closer here, you can see that there's this sphere around the um, arrows. And so I'm going to grab this top one and kind of rotate it down some here to get a feeling for which way this is. And then there's this blue line here. I'm going to drag and get it like this. And you can see these numbers here for the rotation are changing to kind of match where I'm at. And so if you want to make sure that uh, your image isn't going to look all skewed, you can actually come in here and make sure that the numbers are right. So I'm going to go ahead and put negative 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and negative 180 degrees in here just to make sure that we're starting from a nice squared up look for this uh, image. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab this arrow and push it back until it's just going into the door. See how you can see it? It kind of starts to blend in with the door. And so I'm going to make sure that I can see the whole image and then I'm going to get it lined up here and then we'll fine tune uh, a little bit once we get it in place. And so this image is pretty big. At first glance, I would want to put it right here on the door. The problem with that is this door is not flat. And so I have no easy way to make my logo kind of bend to the shape of the door. And so what I'm going to do instead is make my logo a little bit smaller and move it up here onto the flat part of this door. And so to change the size of this plane, I'm going to come in here to the section that's called scale, and I'm going to change the scale of my x-axis to, let's say, 0.75. So now it's 3 quarters of the width that it used to be, and then I'm going to change my z-axis to 0.75 as well, so that it's uh, three quarters of the height because in this particular orientation that's the z-axis and then if I drag this over here you know it looks like that's going to fit on that part of the door there um, get around the handle a bit and so I think that for you know the purpose of our tutorial that looks pretty good uh, as far as position so the last thing I need to do is kind of come in here and you can see that uh, I'm not quite on the edge of the door there and so the best way to kind of do this is to just look at it head on, grab this green arrow, and just slowly sink it back until you see it start to go through the door. And then just pull it forward a couple um, ticks so that it doesn't actually clip through the door. If you have it too close to the door, you're going to get one of those annoying flickering logos on your vehicle, which uh, you really don't want. And sometimes these doors aren't perfectly flat, so you can kind of get a feel for that by tipping it back and forth. So you can see, as soon as I start tipping the top back, I lose my K, but when I tip it down, it takes a little bit until I lose the F. And so you can kind of find the middle spot in that slant, and then maybe move it forwards or back just a smidge more once you find that perfect slant so that you know that it's gonna be uh, on the door pretty solid. You can also then, uh, once you think you've got it in place, kind of check from the side, you know, put yourself into the door with the movement commands and just see if you see it hanging off of the door. Because the last thing you want is to be walking around your vehicle and see your logo just floating in the thin air. So once you have your logo in place, we need to move it into the vehicle itself because right now it's just hanging out here um, outside of the vehicle proper. And so in order to do that, you can see as I click on the different parts of um, this main mod that, you know, we need to make it make sure that our logo is included with the rest of the vehicle. And so the way that you can do that is highlight this plane and we can give this a better name if we want by clicking on it and then coming over to the attributes here. I'm going to call this left door logo just so that when we're looking at this later, it's easy to identify. And then holding down the middle mouse button with this left door logo highlighted, you can see I'm picking it up and I'm going to drop it right on this word Reaper. And it's going to put it at the bottom of this section so that now my left door logo is a part of this object overall. So this is what's going to really make sure that it shows up in game and operates correctly. 
However, you might notice that my logo, it doesn't have any dirt on it right now, which makes it look a little bit funny. There's certain things where maybe you want your logo to always show up, but I'd like it if mine had a little bit of dirt on it. So in order to get that to work, we need to do two things. First, we're going to expand this window for custom shader, and we're gonna click on the replace or add a new shader. In the window that pops up, we're gonna to navigate to wherever you have your Farming Simulator 19 installed to. In my case, I'm using Steam. So it's in the program, x86 folder, Steam, Steam apps, common, Farming Simulator 19, data, and then in the data folder, there's a shaders folder. Near the bottom of this list, there's a file called vehicleshader.xml. We're gonna go ahead and double click on that. And then once we have a shader source installed for our logo, we're gonna come in here to this gloss map in the material editing screen and we're gonna find a base game uh, texture to apply to this. So if we go back up a level into the data folder and then go into shared, we're gonna find a file in this directory called reflectors trailers specular. By default, this is gonna give us the same dirt texture that the reflectors and stuff use in the base game. If I zoom in here, you can see I get a little bit of dirt, some flex out of it. And so this gives it like a little bit of a worn look while still letting the logo kind of stand out on the vehicle. Cause that's the whole point of wanting to see your logo on something. Uh, but it makes it feel a little bit more realistic. Some mods will have a generic dirt texture included in them that you can use as well. But I find that this is uh, the easiest way for logos. If you're just looking to put something on a vehicle quickly. The last thing that I want to show is once you have the left door logo on a vehicle, often you're gonna to want to add a logo to the other door. Rather than walking through all of the steps that we just did to create a second logo and put it on the other door, you can highlight the left door logo, come up to edit and select duplicate. That's gonna create a duplicate copy of that same object in the same place. So we're gonna highlight that now and change the name of our duplicate to right door logo. And then we're just gonna go over to the other side of this vehicle here and drag this logo over here. Now, you can't see the logo from the backside because it is a plane. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate this object 180 degrees here. And you can see as we pivot that, the rotate Y axis was changing. So I'm just gonna put that at negative 90 just to make sure we're nice and square on this door. And then just like the other side, I'm gonna back this up until we hit the door and the only thing we should really have to do here, we should be in the same spot left and right. So all we're gonna do is kind of adjust our up and down tilt a little bit to make sure that we're on the curve of that door. And just take a quick look at it to make sure that we've got it back far enough and that we're not clipping through the door at anywhere um, and that we can clearly see our logo. So in this case, I think we're in a pretty good spot. So we can go ahead and save this mod and try it out in game. Once you're in game, you can come into the shop and you should see your logo right away when you're in the shop if you've done everything right. In our case, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of these trucks with the white door because logos always really show up on white, but we'll also pick another color, maybe a nice black, maybe something blue, just to toss that out there and take a look at it. And so here you can see immediately the logos on the door. It looks good. You don't see that it's, uh, you know, coming off the door or anything crazy. Um, and so it looks really nice. And then if we just hop into a vehicle here and use the easy development tools mod, we can turn the dirt amount up on our vehicle all the way to maximum. And I'm just going to pull this up so we can kind of hop out and look at the doors. You can see, our logo's got a little bit of dirt on it, but it's not completely covered. Um, and so if you use that uh, reflectors dirt map, um, that's gonna give you that effect. And then, as I said, you can also find a more involved custom dirt maps, usually in the mods uh, that you're already working on. There's a few different dirt maps floating around on the internet if you want something a little bit more involved, but I really kind of like this more balanced look. And so with that, that's how easy it is to add your logo to a vehicle. The same principle applies to any other mod that you would like to add your logo to. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, 
go ahead and uh, hit that thumbs up button. And if there's other tutorials like this that you'd be interested in, or if you've got questions or something's not working for you, feel free to leave a comment below or join the Discord server. We got a lot of people that are always willing to help out. The link's in the description below. That's all for today. Kedrick, out.